Conservation Commission meetings called to order. It's uh, after 7 o'clock, and this is being recorded by RCTV. And you can get that on Verizon, third channel 33, Comcast channel 22, and you can find it at www.rctv.org. And the first item on the agenda tonight is Notice of Intent 278-0714-135, 139, and 149 R. Howard Street, Map Lot, Map Tent, Lots 75, 76, 77, Infrastructure Holdings, LLC, Update. Um, we had a third party review, Horsley and Witten, um, Amy Ball, a wetland scientist, and who was the engineer? Uh, Janet. Janet Nardo, and she's actually the chair of the Needham Conservation Commission. They were there um, around noontime on Tuesday, <coughs> as was the um, applicant's consultant, Norse Environmental, uh, Maureen Healy and Steve Erickson. Um, there was a backhoe on site, and they dug a, a fairly deep hole to look at the um, soils. Uh, if you're looking at the two existing homes um, along the left-hand side going down towards the intermittent stream. Um, and um, Ms. Ball spent quite a bit of time familiarizing herself in the back part uh, near the um, properties off-site <coughs> and uh, reviewed um, with Maureen, um, all of her, Maureen Healy's um, flags. There weren't too many changes, but there was an area, there is a stone wall and an area to the, um, where the culvert and the wetland is to the right, looking back. Um, there are some skunk cabbage, which is a pretty obligate, um, something that you would find in a wetland uh, most of the time, but they're very scattered. Um, and there weren't a lot of other herbaceous or small growing um, wetland plants. And um, Ms. Ball's thought on that was, and they did a lot of test pits and cores, that the soils were so tight that they held, you know, that it was able to establish the skunk cabbage, but not much anything else. However, that being <coughs> said, further towards the right, there was a downed I want to say it was a silver maple tree, and there appeared to be some more wetland uh, vegetation in that kind of a depressed area, and it seemed to be isolated. There was no stream going into it or out of it, and, but under our um, uh, Reading General Bylaw, we do protect, protect isolated um, wetlands uh, over 500 square feet. So. Ms. Healy with Ms. Ball um, looked at the area, did a lot of soil cores, and Ms. Healy uh, actually hung flags in that area. So uh, it looks to be more than 500 square feet. Um, there was another area that I actually thought might be a wetland area from the wetland going back towards Howard Street along the, that channel. is a very um, soft, feeling soil area with uh, vegetation like jewelweed, jack in the pulpit, and what else was in there? Oh yeah, sensitive, sensitive fern, which are all, you know, wetland species. However, um, Ms. Ball um, was not comfortable yet to make a determination on that particular area. She's going to give it more thought. But generally, I really thought looking at these consultants, and we've had other third-party reviewers on other projects, I thought that they really looked at it and really had a good handle on the soils and, and just what a, you know, a, you know, a, a wetland is, you know, from a soils perspective and the vegetation and the presence of hydrology. So, Chuck, can you add to that? Uh. Yeah, I thought it was pretty thorough. We were out there for <coughs> two six hours, uh, so long that the people from uh, um, Norris Environmental had to leave. 
and I didn't think there was any determination yet, and I've sent them a couple emails um, just returning some paperwork that they asked for and haven't got anything back, so they're kind of in this radio silence mode, and we'll probably get a report or um, the next step as far as uh, how the criteria that we've asked for would be a meeting with the engineering department to go over the stormwater, and then after that, a meeting with the Conservation Commission here at Town Hall. So those are the two next steps that we, we ask them to do. When you say meeting with the Conservation Commission here at Town Hall, that would be during one During of a our public meeting. Our yeah. Our yeah. So, uh, but that, that hasn't been said yet. I don't know how long it's going to take them to go through the engineering uh, and, and any other things. But um, yeah, it was, uh, <coughs> Excuse me. you know, they did, they did move one flag uh, while we were there. And then they asked uh, Maureen from Norris Environmental to flag that other spot along um, those two two private houses that run along the back. They have their own driveway down there, and so that's that's kind of where it was. So that driveway is off Howard Street, and so it was it was closer to this, the the house that's furthest away from the road um, where they did the delineation. And I think there was a little bit of ambiguity over whether it was a wetland or not from uh, Norris Environmental and everyone else on site. So, interesting to see what they come up with. I mean, it sounds like it was, you know, they, they did a lot of stuff. I'd be interested too, I mean, I talked with Chuck a lot about the soils. And, right. Uh, the soils were really tight and, and uh, very fine, fine yeah. sand, almost so silty sand. Yeah, so if it's less permeable than it's not that thinking. permeable yeah how does that impact the engineering so I'm sure that's gonna be their next part of their next <coughs> step so um, yeah that came up but and they were gonna look we'll at see. the soil classification um, whether it's B or C, B yeah. or C or C or whatever it ends up turning into so that's but something got, else that came up they've still got some things on their plate and they're, they've got next steps and, yeah but it's moving forward and, and they sounds like they got a lot of Information there, and right? That's the and we and the good thing day. was that the contract was signed that day. <laughs> What's that? The contract was signed that oh, day, right. so yeah, that was good. So things are moving along. Good. Um, I understand that it, this is just a discussion. I understand that there are um, uh, abutters um, from the Howard Street area. Do you have any comments, questions? I, just, I have a question. I have actually sent Suzanne Algeri, 149 Howard Street, sent some pictures into Chuck. And so one of my questions in trying to understand, as you talk about the wetlands, um, there's as you come down Howard Street into the property to the left of that first house, um, right along kind of that fence line where the sensitive fern is, um, that was kind of discussed early on. But I'm just wondering if that is designated as wetlands there, and if so, what does that necessarily mean as far as the project goes? Because that's really kind of kind of on the edge of the property. And I'm just wondering, in the whole scheme of wetlands, I don't really understand how that would factor in. Um, that's, that's a good question. And um, that area, with the, there, there was a, a PVC pipe. There's a little black one. You can see it daylighting a little bit. I, I, we couldn't find. Um, a manhole out on Howard Street, but we think it's just coming off from the house next door, the driveway, and, and from Howard Street draining into this. But if you look at the first area of the sensitive fern, it's actually raised. Right. It's like humped, um, and there's some moss growing off to the side. Um, and then further down, you see some more sensitive fern. So that was the area in question that Ms. Ball is going to be taking a look at. But if, can I explain I mean, the regulations a little bit? If, if that were a wetland, it, it, it is kind of isolated from the other wetland that's further down, right. but there's a channel that connects it. And even though that channel does not have hydric soils or hydrophytic vegetation indicative of a wetland, it's connected, and if you have an area upland of another wetland and it's connected with a swale, it's considered jurisdictional. That wetland 
as well as that, and it's it's called bank of an intermittent stream. So it's it's it would be under our jurisdiction, but that that is the area of of you know kind of a, a, a gray hole at this point. So. And are you able to speak how that how that would impact um, the project in any way, or is that further down the line? That's further down the line, yeah. um, that, and that would, <coughs> you know, that that you know, <laughs> it would impact it obviously, and so the applicant would have to go back and take a look at their plans. But it has to qualify as a wetland under the Wetlands Protection Act. So if it was less than 500 square feet, it would be an isolated wetland. Be no connection. Which one? The one up above? The one up above. Mm -hmm. So that could, be, that could be isolated if it was less than 500 square feet. Oh, so okay. I think the one back where the uh, Jay, um, Joe Power Weed was, that, that's by the f back of the fence, back of the fence area. Right. That's probably more than 500 feet. That's yeah. So there's still a lot of questions. Okay. Yeah, so it's a very optimistic view from the chair. I mean, but just take this in stride. We're looking for someone else to review this. So if, I guess if Norris was here, they would say that they, you know, they disagree. It was, it, yeah, they would say yeah. it wasn't. Yeah, they would say they disagree. <laughs> and, uh, and we're just waiting for information. The, the key step will be hearing from the, you know, the, the third party review actually finalizing what they've they've done and, and giving their final results. Um, I, I think this is helpful to understand what what you guys looked at, but ultimately we, we want to hear from them and, and their final conclusions. So. Thank you. You are Mr. Castellucci. Yeah, Chuck Castellucci, 62 West Cross Road. Um, I'm glad that they were able to uh, to see that the uh, the soils there were tighter than than possibly what's in the. Uh, in the reported work that was put together, and I don't know if if that will have an effect on the calculations that were done. Is it is there any way to determine that for the stormwater calculations and infiltration and then so? Uh, Chuck, I, sim I'm similarly, we're we're not going to know that until they they their engineer is going to take what they've gotten and <coughs> evaluate part of the the drainage that, that was put together for the project. So it's going to be part of that same process. I mean, we've been saying that the soils are tighter because we're seeing standing water on our properties and it's, it's not infiltrating in, so. Thank you, Mr. Kessler. Okay. Stanley Harrington, 127 Howard Street. So I'm the middle house on the dirt road off of Howard. So I, I might have missed this, but you said you took a sample from the gentleman behind the house behind mine across the road. I think it's Ten point one six seven. So I'm ten. Seven eight. Yeah, I'm ten seven eight. So directly across from me, I, I really appreciate if they could. If you could, I don't know what the barriers are and how far samples have to be taken, but my kids play over there, and when they come back home, they're soaking wet all the time, and my sub pump goes off twenty four seven. So I, I don't know if they took a sample in that area or not, or if it even matters, and if it does, I would appreciate somebody taking a sample. Um, I, I don't know what, what makes, where. I don't know why, how you pick where you take a sample, so I'm just. It, it's based on, on vegetation, vegetation the vegetation mm -hmm. that you typically find in, in a wetland, and mm -hmm. so a, a wetland scientists, yeah. you know, spend a lot of time looking at keys yeah. and Yep. Keying out the vegetation, and also, you know, that's uh, backed up with hydric soils, uh -huh. and soils that show um, water a fluctuating water table, mm -hmm. that would uh, closer to the the uh, surface to support, you know, those t type of vegetation that grows in, in soggy soils. So they just look for any vegetation, and then they look for specific. Yeah, uh, the difference. Did they happen to look in that area? Or I'm just wondering because I, I, I is offer that my driveways for people Chuck, to park and take trucks or whatever down to sample, so there wouldn't be an issue. Where was the house that was the brown house? That's the one behind mine. It's down the dirt road. There's this brown. So we were. Did you touch seven years? Yes. <laughs> <coughs> so, isn't 
Yeah, so, um, so we were behind this house here, and it was kind of straight up from the stairway, straight over. So we look right. here. So it's like so it's like looking for gold. So you know what a gold nugget looks like when you find it. Well, the wetland scientist knows what the plants and the soil and the depression and the silt stain leaves look like when they're when they so when they see those areas, it's like aha, I'm gonna dig here. I'm not gonna waste my time digging somewhere else. They kind of key in on those areas. Sometimes they hit gold and sometimes they don't. So they looked a lot, but then they but then they dug right here and they had Norse come back and uh, flag that area, which happened today. And now our consultant or our third party review will go back and review those flags. And that's where the the, cess, the, the, um, the retaining pool would be, right? It is exactly in, in that spot. So wouldn't they want to look, but if they're going to build houses in all the areas, wouldn't we want to check all the areas? So they're, they're not charged with just looking at, at like where the wetland, th their charge is to, to identify the, the, the areas under our jurisdiction. And, and it doesn't necessarily matter what, you know, where it lands on this map. They focus on the areas that they can visually see <coughs> disappear in that area. So while they, they may not have sampled in the area specific to where, I, I don't know specifically which areas they sampled, they're paying attention to, to the, the whole lot, the whole areas, the, the, as much as they can see on the adjacent properties. Uh, because it's all part of the right. what they're uh, trying to identify. I, I just know I see plenty of vegetation across from my house. Yeah. yeah. And I don't know uh, an extreme amount. So I don't know if it's considered um, in the arena that we're looking at. But if they walked <laughs> by it, they would have saw it. Yeah, right. And so I that that place is not going to be an area that's going to be considered a wetland. So, so let me just, just add to it. So the first step you want to do is you want to identify all the resource areas. And then on top of that layer, we want to add our jurisdictional setbacks. So by discovering this new area and then understanding there's a 25-foot zone of natural vegetation and a 35-foot no structure zone. I mean, this that's a cha that changes everything, and okay. you know the total width of the conservation <coughs> jurisdiction is a, it's a hundred feet. So you saw that before on the old plan where that hundred foot was, but with these with that area, and it hasn't been uh, determined whether that's actually jurisdictional or not. But we're, I'm sorry. So it needs to meet the criteria. It needs two indicators of wetland. So water within the 12, first 12 inches, or uh, more than 51% of vegetation that would normally grow in a wetland area. So, or you could add in the soils. So the soils are hydric, which are kind of a, a bleached out, so um, so black and gray. They, they get this saying, it's called black and gray, stay away. That's for the builders, black and gray, stay away, brown and yellow, happy fellow. So. We're looking for black, black and gray soils or wetland soils because the water comes up and all those minerals inside the soils, the water comes up and then drains over time. And it washes out the minerals and it becomes bleached. So they're white, so they're gray. So this fluctuation in the groundwater actually cleanses all the particles, drops all the minerals out and we know that it's a wetland because the water is usually up in this area up within 12 inches so that's another indicator so they're looking for one of those where across from you it may be wet it may be a springtime situation but they've been able to establish grass and whatnot in that area so it's probably not we did look at this place for two for two and a half hours or so and I, I think that um, you know, up beyond where we looked isn't going to come up as a wetland, but but maybe that drainage ditch has been there for so long that that, that might end up being something. Chuck, could, could you show us uh, where that other wetland area was on the, along that swale that's up upland of the... Uh... Sure. Oh, wait a minute. Here we go. So this the swale that's part of the drainage ditch. 
Okay, so here's, um, let me move this up. Okay, so here's the house right here, and somewhere in here is a fence. So we were, there's a more of a wetland area, Joe Pye weed kind of in back of here. It might be more extensive than I'm showing. And then this came up just a little bit in this area here. So that's that's kind of where we were looking. I just want to be clear, that's the area that we were talking, you were saying that they are, are particularly right now inconclusive on, or they're still trying to figure that out? That's right. Uh, so one indicator, so it has uh, sensitive fern there. What else does it have? So that's one, one, you need two. What's the other? So we need to find water within the first 12 inches or we need to find hydric soils. And they need to look at this, this area. So it's definitely under question. Um, and so anyways, this, this thing kind of goes back to this area here. And then we have our we have our wetland you know here. So and they moved one flag up. It probably went like that before, but now it's more like this. And this this spot between here and here would be <coughs> non-jurisdictional if this is not a wetland. It's bothering me. So that's that's because if you think of a highway, like all the drainage ditch next to a highway, that's not a wetland. So there's water in it. That's basically what's, what this area would be. It would be just like next to a highway, just water, taking water from one place to another. But once it gets to the wetland, it becomes jurisdictional. So that's why having this become a wetland kind of you know, locks in everything and connects everything. So since this is important, this becomes important, and so on and so forth. Thank you. <coughs> okay. Make a motion to continue. A second. All those in favor? All right. Next item on the agenda. Thank you. At 7.05. Thanks, everyone. Is uh, notice of intent 278-0716, 52 Colvin Road, map 38, 55 Bellows. And um, I have a script that I will read from. The public hearing um, for 270-0716 is now opened and being conducted concurrently under the authority of the Massachusetts Wetlands Protection Act, Mass General Laws, Chapter 131, Section 40, and the, as amended in the General Reading Bylaws, Section 7.1. The hearing is conducted in the following manner. An applicant will present the proposal. Commission will receive reports from administrator. Any other town departments commission will address questions and comments to the applicant. The public will be then given the opportunity to ask questions of the applicant, and uh, it should be directed to me. I'm the chair. And when you do, please give your name and address before your comments or questions are presented. And uh, everyone hopefully signed into an attendance sheet the uh, back of the room, please. Did you say? <laughs> Free donuts out in the hall. <laughs> All right. So I, I, I don't. It's not Jack. It's gonna be back. It's not me. Not. He's signing me in. Is the applicant here? I think so. I, I think it's the lady with the glasses. I, I, I think so. Are you the applicant or an, a butter? Yeah, I'm in a butter. Oh. oh. Okay. Are you are you presenting? Okay, okay, great. I just it's a jet for the one. Okay. It's 
great. We just wanted to make sure somebody was actually here to present. No, 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 I don't say something. Yeah, yeah, no, take, take your time. He said he has three meetings at the same time. Okay. Every day, so <laughs> sorry. Not a problem. It's okay. But I, yeah. So it's uh, existing existing house. It's proposed addition, like existing driveway, go like this. 
So it's all over the existing driveway. Well, so now that you see of asphalt here and there in the back. I'm sorry, what? Additional two feet. Additional, it's, it's smaller than driveway. Driveway is paved quite a long time ago. So this portion of driveway is staying. This is going to be addition on top of the existing driveway. And a wetland located in, a, in a, another property in, in the back. And a, a wetland was flagged by uh, Northern um, Environmental Services by order of uh, Jack Sullivan, engineer. And uh, this project was prepared by Mr. Jack Sullivan. He did a existing condition. He did proposed that, proposed addition. He designed a uh, dry well to collect water from roof, uh, 1,000 gallons concrete gully to collect water from front of the addition and from the back of the addition. Uh, oh, uh, all, the, all the construction going to be um, like distance from uh, end of the deck to wetland <coughs> about about 70 feet. So it's uh, in a buffer zone, but it's uh, quite far away from wetland. Um, what else to say? Oh, uh, during construction, we're going to do a uh, like hay or uh, one feet diameter mulch field pipe just going around. To, to prevent erosion. Uh, it's not, not really in the backyard to, to be cut. It's only existing four stumps. So we're going to grind them. And after that, we're going to reloom the yard behind the house. Uh, 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 see the do like, probably. It's going to be seeded new grass here, everywhere, and here, and here, and here. That's it. Good question. Great. Is, is the existing um, lawn, is the existing backyard 100% grass right now? Uh, it's a, just a few. It's more on the front and left side, but not in the back. It's some, some in the front, some on the side, yeah. But in the back, in the back, nothing. Just yeah. dirt. Well, okay. yeah, just a little bit of grass, but it's just some separate pieces. To grow. Well, I know that. So it wasn't. I've got one of those kinds of lawns. Yeah, <laughs> I understand. I too. So, um, depending is there, on the definition of a lawn, <laughs> it's trying to be a lawn. Um, is is, the, is there fencing all around the back or? Oh. No, is no, it's open? no, it's a just slope going to the back. Okay. With a, if somebody put uh, branches there or branches and leaves, but it's not it's not in a, on a property. It's a behind property line in the back. Yeah. yeah. Um, is is the existing is the new uh, expansion the addition? Is it going to be a walkout basement with a full foundation? No, it's going to be four feet foundation because it's going to be. A land going down, so it's going to be four feet foundation, and a basement going to be garage, to car garage, and after that, on top of the garage, will be kitchen, family room, you know. Because existing house only have two bedrooms, it's going to be bigger. It's four feet foundation, usually one, one by two footing, and a ten inches foundation wall. Sounds like a four foot knee wall. And garage floor and then the addition up top. Yeah. Can I just take a step it's back? It's going to be four feet deep, probably like eight inches by, by code higher than existing asphalt. Uh, and after that, going to be wood. Uh, this is a safe visit, right? Yeah. Okay. This house, not on the flat, it's kind of, if you take Google Part of the slope. See it, like, yeah. Slope, so. Part of the slope. So it's the left hand side of the house. It's a like walkout walk walk out basement. Yeah. So garage is going to be in a level of basement, existing basement, the same. 
Gotcha. And after that, first floor of addition will be gotcha. matching existing first floor. Gotcha. Okay, I understand. Um, this is like a tristism addition, and uh, it's uh, staying on the on the lolly columns. It's about it's already about like seven right. seven, seven about seven feet high. Well, um, which side of the house is going to be the? Where's the construction entrance going to be for this? Yeah, it's going to be the driveway. Right? It's going to be here. Uh, we are, we are spot. Yeah, hold on a second. Let me get to the plan. Where's the spot? Yeah. So here's a, it's a it's a three season porch and a body yeah. column here, and and uh, and uh, on the on, on the porch is a is the entrance to the basement, like right. Right. another entrance here, and the driveway now, this like a couple of feet behind, like this one. Couple of feet here, so all driveway, big driveway. In addition, we're going to have like some part of it. So, I guess one question I have about the construction entrance it, um, I mean, I just bring it up as a question for the commission, I guess, is do we think that a construction entrance on the left is has a possibility to interfere with compaction and infiltration of that, that infiltration? Drive are you driving around the back side of the house? No, I am. You just you just gonna stay on the driveway with yeah, your vehicles? He, here, it's a it's a piece of ledge here, mm -hmm. and and the line go up, so you cannot get there. So she's saying is this here the infiltration unit? Are you driving over that? No, it's a slope here. No, I don't ever do. Okay. No, I don't have to. Okay. Okay. Um, What's troubling you? Right. Nothing's really troubling me. I, I, we, we went right into the like, under questions. That, uh, so the wetlands seemed like it was in the right spot, I guess, yeah, was my it, first question. Yeah, uh, we, we walked down in that area. What I found very odd was this old concrete hmm. pool. Is this the old foundation that's on this plan? Yeah, it's that's not on your pool. property. No, it's not on our property. That's, that's on this. Our, that's on our foundation. Yeah, blue cover, but behind, behind the oh, property line. Yeah. It's full of water. It's get a lot of mosquitoes. The old, the old foundation. Yeah, it was an old pool, right? And it's somebody else's. Oh, this, this it's theirs. Old foundation. What? It was a pool. It was a pool. Oh. What was, was next it? to it? It was a foundation, <coughs> and they put, they made it into a pool. When we got there, it was. Let go. Let go. But it's so deteriorated. Concrete. Just, just it's built around no. the edge. Safety hazard. It's not usable. It, it's well, well, supposed to be fenced pools. in. Can you but it's in? not. Is there any water in there? Water oh, it's not even. It sounds like a remnant. It's like someone decided to make a pool. Yeah, it was there. Yeah. It, and then they, you know how you can paint like oh, concrete, and it's. I, 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 I know someone decided to make a pool out of tar paper. I thought that was a hole. Oops. <laughs> well, this is a step above. Just, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it's hard. Yeah. So that was interesting. I think the we spent more time by that than we spent the rest of the property. <laughs> no, well, they just are just in the area. It's a, it's a cement pond. I heard mm -hmm. that. Yeah. Yeah. And the and the wetland line, I. I didn't have an issue with it. Did you, Chuck? No. no. I mean, for that was this, the first not, for, really not for this site, right. I, did I have an issue with that. So yeah, in, in the, basically, the wetlands quite, the really good part is way yeah, off it's, that it's, way. Yeah, it's <laughs> well beyond where these flags are. It's, yeah. it's up in this area where <coughs> yeah. it becomes really interesting. So, I mean, it seems pretty straightforward to me. I, I guess the only question I have, so the, I guess I, I understand the, the mulch sock, you've got it around um, yeah. the, the, basically the property line because you're going to be loaming and seeding the whole grassy area there. Just from the, the pictures, it seems like the, the side yard slopes almost to the neighbor. Um, I don't know if we, we probably want to extend that. Uh, uh, 
Promotion control. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, Maybe yeah. it makes sense. Chuck, I don't know. You see this all. You see this more often than me. But it, and you, you guys were there. But it seemed like everything sloping that that way. And right yes. hand side, the land going up. I, I think you want. So to. it's uh, quite safe. But here it's a go down. Maybe just yeah. it's almost flat on the left. Because it has to wait. Yeah. Also, all all, all <laughs> that slope to the left. So okay, so it's outside of the jurisdiction at that spot. I mean, I I think it's a a, a good idea. I mean, to me, it's a, one of those things. I don't we I don't need to see it on the plan, but you're going to be out there. We we generally have this part of the conditions. They they let you know when it's going. I think it'd be. Uh, the responsible thing to let it have it continue. Are, are you doing any grading and back? As a suggestion. Yeah. No. Yeah. No grading and back. Yeah. Just keeping everything in there. Mm, minor grading changes, four to six inches to read. Only do seeding and a and a grinding of this stumps. They probably the tree cut like, as I think like long long time ago. It's already falling apart. So it's not like fresh stump or something. It's very very old and mm -hmm. all in the middle and. Yeah. I mean, I didn't see any. I mean, it didn't it didn't strike me as like freshly cut stumps. Or yeah. So. Besides besides the lawn, uh, what does the commission think about um, proposing like one or two? Since it is the hundred foot buffer zone, one or two um, native shrubs. Or shrubs. Yeah, it does. Or are we satisfied with leaving it? I'm satisfied. I'm satisfied with the grass seed because well, from what I, can I mean, see things are missing. And is is it was a appeared to be an area that was probably grassy before, and it, yeah. and it hasn't taken you know hasn't necessarily taken again. Yeah, I would like yeah. to see if the grass seed take so we can't grow it, but I don't see a, a reason mm -hmm. to add. Um, necessarily. I'm fine with that as well. I mean, we are outside the 35 foot. I I just want to bring it up. Any other questions for the commission members? Hearing none, um, any questions or comments from um, the neighbors? Just wondering if it's going um, to Can you down identify down. yourself? Mary Gravelin, 58 Colbert. Thank you. Just wondering if it's going to affect our property. Or on the right side. Right, I don't As we look at the map here on the right? Yeah. So you're uphill? Yeah, so that is significantly up there. I can't imagine what kind of problem it could create for you. I have no problem with, with it at all as long as it doesn't. Do it. So all There's the no water will drain down on this side, in which it does already. And not too much will drain towards you that's not going there. Here's the top of the hill. Well, so water is going to be captured in the dry well. The from the yeah, from, 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 from the addition. Yeah, yeah, from the addition. And what's not captured is going kind of here and towards the street, towards Colburn. So in a way, it's infiltration of an area that's mostly already impervious yes, right, right now so anyway. So it's, it's, like added, benefit, it's, it's yeah. added infiltration. Yeah. Although, so I'm just curious, is the, green, is the green line the boundary of the <coughs> property? Yes. Are those buildings in the bottom corner of the boundary, the neighbors' buildings, or are they, they just buildings that are just carrots? Um, if I had to hazard a guess, I would say that there's sheds on each person's property. One each owned by the... I, that, I just, I do, one looks like it is, and one looks like it might be. Yeah, so the, the, just, the aerial just, photo is taken on an angle from a satellite or right, from whatever, sure. and it's, so not, the parallax is, it's not wicked. It's just like our accurate. wetlands. Uh, don't, yeah. don't consider just, it the... Well, the discerning eye. Hey, yeah. <laughs> in the box. It's in the box. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so. Hmm. Any other comments, questions? Oh, who, who did I say he had first? <laughs> oh, Rock O'Connell, 63 Colburn Road. I'm across the street, sort of diagonally. The, uh, uh, the dry well, is that covered? It's underground. It's yeah. underground, covered with. Presumably loam and grass. Yeah. yeah. Does Trust it have to be uh, serviced? Is there any kind of mantle cover, that sort of thing, that allows you to service it? So here's the detail of what's going on, but um, it's covered, it's underground. 
It's going to be on uh, six inches of washed stone at the base. But I think he actually says something else. This must be a detail. He said 18 inches or something like that in the application. So it's going to be sitting on crushed stone and it probably has at least it says 18, 18 inches on the drawing. Yeah, uh, that's just one like foot of probably probably has one foot of cover over it. So I would expect that anyways. So you won't be seeing. And it'll hold roughly two feet of water. Is that what it's saying? If it were to fill up? Oh, Did you look at that? Does I need the service? This thing does I need the service? It, it basically just allows water to collect where it can slowly migrate or, or seep back into the soil without flooding. Thousand gallons is sufficient. Four times the tank size. It's not. Oil accounts, like Did four you see any numbers on it? I don't think he provides no. numbers of on like how much rainfall it collects. So I think we're talking it'll handle the first half inch of rain, um, half inch rainfall, and most rainfalls are about that much, you know, or less. I mean, so I, something bigger, it's going to discharge. Uh, and usually the discharge point is at the gutters. So the downspouts have, that, that detail might be on here, the downspouts have a uh, overflow on them. So if anything backs up, it just goes out at the base of the gutter, just like if it had an elbow on it. So. I don't see any numbers, but overall, this, just like we were talking about, this is going in an area that primarily was already uh, impervious. So knowing Jack's other projects, he conservatively likes to put these in and oversize them, knowing that this is just good practice. Um, but I don't see like that we're actually increasing impervious areas. No, I don't think so. I was just wondering how much. It's dramatically improving it, actually. Yeah, what was that? Yeah, I mean, just the fact <laughs> that that tank is there now, where you had driveway before, it, it makes a substantial improvement. Or that would have been overland flow. What, what now, sort of now washed away there. is not going to be reintroduced to the. So it's capturing all the water from a 38 by 28 inch roof, and it's going into a thousand gallon, thousand gallon dry well. So do you think how much, at what point would that be filled up? I mean, that's that's what we need. I don't know, but usually you include the two foot height and the the one the the 18 inches and the one foot above the groundwater table. So yeah. you include that entire height, Yeah. because it can. I, I have a question about, if, if, I, if it's all right to speak, I have a question about the addition, the, the upper left corner of the schematic outside of the red line shows like a, a black um, triangle. Chuck, if you don't mind putting them. I was just finished reading that, see if he had a would you want that? Uh, just so we can see the top of the addition. Yeah, sorry. You see that black um, rectangle? It's the yeah. offset. There? That yeah, what is that? That's the driveway that extends beyond the addition, which is going to be removed. Which one? Existing. No, that, oh. that's, that's existing, right? Here. right? That's existing driveway that's going to get taken up. And yeah, removed. so this... This yes. see, no. it's meant to, to be removed, removed. No. here and no. here. Is no, that what you're talking about? That's I'm the asking. drain that goes into the wet well. Yeah, this what is, is that? The that the so, oh, then this. this that's here. the existing driveway to be removed. This here and this yeah. here. This Those this dark lines are the existing drain to be removed. What it is. <laughs> two lines coming from the back. <laughs> Can we ask the applicant what that is? Because I, I don't know. It's not. <laughs> oh. It's an asphalt walkway going to the existing there. Okay, so so the rectangular just to be good, the rectangular block to the right of that ninety one in parentheses. Yeah, yeah. You guys can about this one. Yeah. What is that? It's a it's a it's a it's a it's a pay, it's a pavement, existing pavement. Go like this. And go like okay. this. Go steps. And go like this. Yeah. Steps. There's a little box yeah. just like there. I see what yeah. you're saying. And a, one, one piece of ledge is here. Right after, and one, another piece of ledge here. It's a window. So Naked. This walkway just go be between That's two, a parenthesis. Two pieces That's of not the, a box. Thanks, Chuck. Okay. Got it. So yeah. Mike was right. Uh, yeah, 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 this yeah, yeah. is Got the that. drain going to uh, here. Okay. okay. <laughs> 
Is that is what it, we're talking is, about? Is I, I just, yeah. yeah, I see this. Yeah. And now I'm going to outline the asphalt. Let's so together. obviously that exists. Can everyone see this here? Here's yeah. something. Yeah, here's I got something that. Something here. Yes. Yeah. And uh, that's going to be removed. Right. Okay. Sure. Check with some curvier soil. Maybe. Yeah. I mean, the steps aren't even on the same side. <coughs> yeah. I, I just wanted to know what that was. Uh, Lady Ann, um, did you have a question? Actually, it was answered by Brock. Okay. With the same type of question I was going to ask. I'm at, I'm at 46 Colby okay. Road, which is the person that's going to take on the water. <laughs> Hopefully not. <laughs> but that. I don't know. Okay. Uh, is there anything going there so now? No. Okay. No. It'll be less than. It's the rain water. Yeah, that's a, my only. Yeah, yeah that's my only concern was if that was big enough to. You're less likely to have a problem now than you. We're likely to it's have perfect. One. I mean, then after this is done, then you are now. Perfect. If everything works the way it should. <laughs> Gentlemen? George Catch and 66 Colburn, so I'm further um, up that way. But I'm sorry, I'm, uh, my apologies. I missed, uh, are you the current owner now? And okay. are you the contractor? Okay. And so is, I mean, this is outside of conservation, I guess, but just curiosity, you're doing this upgrade and then is a, are the owner is going to move in or are they selling it or that's a TBD? I, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I cannot tell you. Thank you. Did you ask me to do it? I understand. Thank you. I know. I know that. Thank you. Sure. Any other questions? Hearing none. I move we um, close the hearing. Fisher mm -hmm. at the next, if you, if you could, at the next meeting. A second. All those in favor? It's a left hand raised time. Okay. All right. No, you're fine. Get your attention to your cat. I know. The series. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. By the way, folks, they're no longer manhole covers. If you didn't see I them, they're now utility access hole covers. <laughs> yes. Oh, politically our select board decided that's necessary. So that's what they oh. call them. Oh. And I'm surprised that it's yeah. not yeah. on. That? I'm, surprised, that? I'm surprised it's not on late night TV. <laughs> it uh, will be. Right? That's what it's called. It sounds like I didn't ever like it. <laughs> so, Chuck, um, when, so our next meeting, um, We'll have an order of conditions. At the next meeting, you'll have, uh, you know, I'll do my best to get an order okay. of conditions, and that's why we didn't close it because, you know, I wasn't sure. So, so did you understand that? Did you hear what? what is that? Yeah, there's a second. So you got the first step, which is we close the hearing. So the commission has to deliberate at this point about the project. Um, and at the next meeting, we'll have an order of conditions, uh, and we'll issue it. But it could be uh, so. It could be all finished at the next meeting. But there's no. We won't ask you any more questions. I don't know if it's just our yeah, between, yeah, yeah, yeah. What, yeah, what so we asked so Chuck to do it between now and no. We don't ask anyone else to participate. So it's, it's just amongst the commission. Just, just in commission. Uh, so what ends up happening is you have the order which writes down everything you said, and then all the conditions that we feel the project wants to do it right. And we, the commission usually asks me, does it have this, does it have that, or to make sure that it's what we want, then they sign it. <laughs> Two weeks and we signed. Nice to meet you. Ten day appeal. Likewise. Yeah. I, I know, but I know. Take sure. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
They can run. Uh, <laughs> 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 so you can do that building permit and the conservation permit at the same time. Yeah. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Yeah, go ahead, Pastor. Um. Mm. Well, now it's just us. <laughs> you, me, and our CTV? Yep, and all of our thousands and thousands of viewers. It's at least it one or two. <laughs> oh, everybody it's say hi to riveted Kim Saunders. To the TV. Usually watching. Hi, Kim. Okay. I watched the Thanks YouTube for watching. video of the last meeting, and uh, I, I turned it on at work, and I had it in the background, and I showed someone at work. I can't believe there's been 14 views already. <laughs> Did you laugh? Yes. See, we usually have a joke at some point. <laughs> what was this for? Yeah. I was catching up with last meeting. Oh, oh. What oh. is uh, we get a, we oh, get 14 a, views. They had a project. They're oh. trying to know this. They, they had a, a project a few years ago. I think the counter is broken. I've seen it well above. You've seen it well above. Oh, yeah. yeah. Anika is. What, 15, 16? Is no. the. Leaps and bounds. Commencement okay. exercises. Thirty. What is it? What is it? Graduation. With a oh, couple graduation. extra zeros. <laughs> Three hundred views. <laughs> My mind was like, did you graduate? Did you, did you, did you, did you go to commencement? commencement? <laughs> like, I'm thinking. He's got a little one. He's, he's sleep deprived. It's okay. It's okay. I'm like, what are they is doing? this an invitation to the uh, AP commencement? Yes. Sure. <laughs> well, they don't have enough parents showing up. Well, I guess that's why I was blown away. I was like, why would every kid gets only so many tickets? They had a big, big project a few years ago, and since then they've invited us to every a lot of their special events. Some of the events. That members have gone there. Isn't we that, have to isn't stand that for like a function? It's for the commencement. It's commencement. Yeah. Yeah. Tell my wife. Is there anything there that says we have to graduation. stand in the wetlands while this is going on so that people know who we are? Uh. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> decent of them to think about. All right, so, so Chuck, administrators, oh, Mallet, Morgan Conservation Land. How'd the meeting go yesterday? It was signed. It took all of 30 seconds for them to decide to sign it. Um, uh, the only thing that was really talked about was, I thought we signed this over to the commission um, last year. And, the, Kim provided some clarification that the normal parcels is still under them, and they agreed to sign. Um, so, can you just highlight which parcel is not? Well, these are the is the these aren't parcels, so I'm not going to be a accurate. So roughly, roughly, <coughs> I'm going to follow. Well, it's 2550, 2550. And 2551. Here's, the, here's this area, so we're a little bit over. Maybe it is, I don't know. Maybe that's one of the parcels, and this is the other parcel. I think there's um, a line that runs right through here, right? Is that? So these people don't want you to put the bridge over their property? So one, two, three. My understanding is this is deeded, these are deeded to the Conservation Commission verified by our GIS coordinator. And which the, one is not? This, so this is an existing trail, and the new trail only touches that side by five feet. But it is on that side. And that's so is that, is that sufficient grounds to not put Well, the that's the, that's the, uh, What's that? the lots that there was some confusion over, which I guess one of the one of the stories was there, there was a town meeting and they were supposed to deed it to get it to the Conservation Commission. The proper procedure never happened, so and no one ever looked into it. Yeah. And so it's it belongs to the selectmen, but they say that the Millette conservation land, um, all of it is in the care and custody Conservation Commission, but you know, we need the property owner. Yeah, we signature. need we need proper permission to do any work. You know, this is a big project, and you always put a big project in front of the select board. And I'm not sure that they, uh, you know, if what we did last night was just have them sign the notice of intent. 
there may be a step. That's not for this Conservation Commission. That this project is being presented by the Trails Committee. Oh, so sorry. whatever next steps there are. Well, our step, is our step is to review the project environmentally right. and, and, and give an approval yes or no. Whatever other steps are for the Trails Committee to take. Well, I, I guess the question that jumps out from what I'm hearing is this: what, what defines a major project? Trails Commission is trying to take this on and raise money where they can, but whatever upgrades and changes and bridges and when did, what, how does this get defined as a major project that Select Board needs to approve? And, and again, I'm, what, what, there's no town, there's no money out of the town pocket, so to speak. So, and, and you know, I think that we, so in town we have general permits and general permits allow work with the, on an existing permit that can be s several years old. So I don't think it's normal for the select board to, to have this request. And I think when it came up for the first time, they said, hey, let's, let's just understand what we're doing here. So our general permit would allow that trail work without a signature, which we were after, to this trail existed, so they were just going in and cleaning up anything that grew Ooh, into the existing sure. trail, redefining it, <laughs> but it was an existing trail. This trail doesn't exist, okay? So even in our general permit, it says when you have to, uh, you have to get an application for a notice of intent, and I would say anytime you have to do that, it's a major project. So to create a new wall, a new trail, um, that doesn't exist, you know, it, it needs to be looked at by the Conservation Commission for sure. Well, now, I would agree the Conservation Commission, and whether it's forestry or parks or trails or whoever, I agree, but I just, I mean. Why does it come up to the? Why does it come to the select, select board? board? Because it's, there, it's town property. The, the owner has to sign off. So it is. So it's under our jurisdiction. But we're not the owner. We can't sign the notice of intent. Well, all the all the signature meant is that it now is going to come before us to review the project. I'm not, I'm not trying to be contentious. I just it seems like a silly project for them to waste their time on. And I think that the amount of time they spent signing it was it was I think clearly they spent, they spent the correct amount. Yeah. I think they spent the correct so amount of time. Three on it. Yeah. Right. yeah, it wasn't it wasn't a big deal. Right. I think you, by I think the time it, was, it got to there, I thought this was big. I think ultimately it, it went up the appropriate channel. They spent the correct amount of time on it. They Is signed it? the application, <laughs> okay. and now it's going to come before the committee. All right, okay. uh, I'm yes. good. But um, I and I think the next time something <laughs> happens out there, they'll understand. You know, it'll it'll be more. You know, there'll be like a memory of, of what how we did it this way. But the commission can't sign that application sure. okay. and then sit and listen to the you know listen to the applicant saying whatever, because we can't be involved at all. So someone has to sign it. That's generally the town manager, in my opinion. So I'll, okay. I would always have sent this to the town manager, and what he does with it, you know, is, is, up, to, is up to him. You know, I just knew that I couldn't do it, and I think Bob needed to, uh, you know, Bob needed to figure out how to do this. And we don't usually ask the select board or the town manager to sign anything. So I think it was fairly a, a new request. So, I mean, That's cool. if I, my guess is next time Bob's going to say, oh, they they didn't spend a whole lot of time. They have no problem with me signing this. And he would, if it's a, a similar situation, he's likely just going to sign it. Sure. Was that part of the discussion yesterday? It wasn't. Um, of what to do when, if this comes up again? Yeah. It wasn't. Oh. Um, because. No, but now they have presence. Did anybody, did you get an inkling of uh, if. All the select board felt that it was worth their while to be involved at this level. Um, I got the sense that they were glad it was they that it was on the agenda, but they didn't really see a reason to really think about it long, and they just gave Bob the okay to yeah, you should so sign. I think that's fine. Yeah, but it sure, is. sure, I'm glad this is on the agenda, Bob. Would you take care of it? Thank you. <laughs> that's I'm best. You got it right. Were pretty, you there too? Hey, look, I got no problem with efficiencies in government. Yeah. I mean, uh, I think I think it went the proper channels because, as Chuck said, it, it was a unique case, and yeah. ultimately, it didn't take. It, there wasn't a whole lot of effort. So. Good. Good. Okay. I just like I didn't want. To, I wasn't trying to start a 
unnecessary discussion on that. I just it seems it's worth asking. My understanding what they're really supposed to be dealing with the same kind of trivial. So we we have to do a site visit for this. <laughs> Why? Because that's. Okay, that's how we do it, and secondly, you'd probably want to know a little bit about the terrain that yeah. they're going to go through so you can get those conditions that they'll need to do the project. Or, you know, there could be a reason not to have it go exactly where they have it. I mean, the other side, there was, there was some areas where when we went out there and did our walkthrough, we actually moved that trail. We moved it away from the houses because we had that walkthrough. So if we didn't, well, if we didn't put right. that in there, then then the trail would have been exactly where it was written in, uh, on the plan in the first place. So I was going to ask the commission, when's a good day to go out there? And I know that you know we don't usually do things on on Saturday or Sunday, but this seems to be something that's going to take you know one trip on its own. It can't be incorporated in our Tuesday. Site visit. Uh, I, I am, I am is this before May 22nd? Is this the it's before, yeah, it's the day before May. The, the, it's May 22nd is the meeting. And so it would be the. Well, what's it, What's another day? Well, why don't we just make it the only thing we do on Tuesday? That's the case. Cause my, my, I guess my problem is one. If there's no trail there, do we have to bring our machetes and push back our lawnmowers? No, you've got to bring your hip blades. Well, well I, I think it would be important to see... Uh, We're going to have a lot of site visits on Tuesday, yeah. right? Yeah, we have seven. So, um... Yeah. Uh, what? We have a lot of site visits on Tuesday. So that's I've spent the last couple of days just getting that package this together is this. for you. Is that what this is? I yes. figured I'd send it to you because... No, I'll give it to give you now. Give us a heads up. Because it's going to take a lot longer than than usual. I mean, Should there's... break it up? So we have done teams before where we just three people started go. Started like eight in the morning and my neighbors on this go to five. Yeah, we have divvy up site that? visits before, so a team like a couple people go to three of them and the other at the same time. Three people go, people go together. So for the, I mean for me, the right lunch ish hour is usually. There's a team during 11:30 to 12, one or something. Well, there's seven of us. We could all just take one site. <laughs> <laughs> Probably wouldn't work. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I think he's going. No what are you, what are you trying to get done? No <laughs> way I'm trusting Hayes to go anywhere yeah. by himself. So uh, instead of like figuring it out on the fly, why don't we review the material and decide which ones are important. I'll take care of the rest and give a report. And as far as this goes, if you want to do it on Tuesday, our, our normal time, it's just going to take a little bit longer. And Bob said, why do we have to view an area that has a vacant trail. I think that the two things that that's going to be talked about is the Hunt Street entrance. So you should go and see that. And then to see the span, the boardwalk that's going to span over the Abajona, you want to kind of visualize where it's going. It's going to, it's going to be made out of micro lambs. They're going to be long enough to span that. They'll support it. And they're going to just sit on five feet on either side or four feet on either side. So the impact is bank to bank, uh, and it's going to be is the place to sit on each side. It's not going to look like the span bridge, the van bridge that we have in Boston. No, no. There's blue lights. No. Oh, the the Lenny Zakem bridge. No. Purple. It's purple. Lavender. The Bunker Hill Bridge. Lavender. Is it, no, is it the Lenny Zakem Bunker Hill Bridge? Yes. Yeah. Yes, I worked what on that. I never knew. I went to the um, public meetings over in Charlestown. <laughs> yes. I have never heard anyone say yeah. Bunker yeah, Hill. Calls it and it's a Bunker Christian Hill. men it's design. The Villainese Bunker Hill Bridge. Or just some yeah. kind of no, he was a very famous Swiss uh, 
structural engineer. What was that with Bunker Hill? You know, they didn't feel like they got enough uh, airplay. Right. <laughs> like Z Z Z Z Zakem Bridge. Yes, we're talking about the Zakem Bridge. <laughs> yeah, that's called the Bunker that was probably Hill Bridge. Lenny Zakem Bunker like Hill Bridge. Yeah. Our name on it too. You're kidding? No, I'm not kidding. She's definitely not kidding. I still know who the hell Lenny Zakem was. I went to those meetings. Sorry. I wasn't questioning you. I just never heard it called for a very long time. That's the full name. Because if you look at those structures, it actually does kind of mimic the Bunker Hill yeah, it does. monument. Tower. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> if you close your eyes and squint, it's like, yeah. oh my you, God. You go like this. I have never thought of Bunker Hill when no. I looked at that bridge, no. although I really if you, like it. If you look at the towers <laughs> now, you will never not see it again. Uh, like so you, can, you can see that from, the towers. from yeah. my, uh, well, from you know, this place called Skyline Park in Arlington. And you can see it when it's from yeah, yeah it's, it's good. Okay. So how, um, how the town hall is from there? It's not. No, it's, it's next, May fifteenth yeah. at one oh, o'clock. Oh, it's not. That's right. right. I committed to that. Bob's. I think mm -hmm. Bob said he. Well, we did it for Bob to get there. I mean, for uh, Dave. Uh, Dave. <laughs> the other Bob. Oh, <laughs> I'm Bob. So what time is that? I know it's been a while, but I'm Bob. <laughs> Where is Bob? Yeah. <laughs> Enough about me. What about Bob? Don't forget about Bob. Bob going? That's at on Wednesday the fifteenth at, at one o'clock. Yep. How long do you think that'll be? Town Forest. Or? Not long. You're on the right spot. <laughs> well, now here's one question. Dave can't walk in, and I should and drive him. And you don't want to walk in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Those roads up there are perfectly good to, to drive on. I'll look. I'll sacrifice Since myself. Since I've been here, this is about the fourth or fifth time he's out. And by the way, <laughs> I can put like ten adults in my car, so if I'm gonna take Dave, I might as well take all of us. Ten Where are we supposed to meet? If I'm if I'm gonna like, get out of work, for uh, this, Boy I'm, Scout I'm Council. Enjoy the little walk. Walk up there. I'll tell you, dude. I'll send out an email. Probably at the compost area. So. Exactly. Yeah, I mean so that's we need a key to get in because it, it's gonna be on a what. Compost Wednesday. is only open Monday We're and Friday. We're taking Mike morning. Hannaford, so we're all set. So if Hannaford's going, he'll have a key. Hannaford's coming. Okay. okay. So, that can, all right. so that that's all set. I checked in with Mike. The trails, I mean, the town force committee knows. And, you know, I'm, I'm going. Uh, I don't know how long it's going to take, but it seems like, you know, we gotta, we got to get this on, uh, on the schedule. And then for the day of the seven site visits, we'll review the information and see what is most prior, prior, prioritized. Well, there's some RDAs there, too. Okay. Yeah. We're not going to prioritize. We're gonna, you're going to say, we could probably hit four. I don't think you get four and the Millet property. So do you want to go to the Millet property by yourself? It's got a nice trail on the, uh, and you can pull into the Willow Street entrance right by the railroad tracks, drive all the way down so you have less walking to do. There is kind of a trail. Tra on the yeah. Mm -hmm. Just uh, beware okay. of ticks. Is this like a week? Well, it's, a it's, it's the trail's cleared, so you don't even have to worry about that. Yeah. So you're not going to get brushed by anything walking down it. Okay. So this is paved, and you could probably park in this area, or you could try to get further. And then this is like a oh, large my. sidewalk. Area, but and then this is all field. As you get into that field. You know, it's so all you field. can just pull off and get And then in. you would just kind of walk through. We, it's not this is the boardwalk we built paved, on that but it's paved. Do we have know, trail day Do we have this a couple weeks back. Yeah, yeah it, it's a new package. And it's like a package. Yep. We It'll be want you to see so guys to kind of on the weekend? this area here. And Carl It'll be away. important to okay. see and Carlo. the Abbot Jonah going through that area. And then the rest would be down on Hunt Street. You want to look at that. I think the rest is exactly what you're talking about. I mean, I know that yeah. Carl's probably going to take an opportunity to walk down there, bring yeah. his lunch. But I think that's, yeah, I, I mean, I'm not worried about doing that on Tuesday. I, I'm, I'll probably pick a day to kind of just go out there and see whole time. Yeah. Yeah. probably walk that on this what weekend so or maybe walk Millet in. Uh, so what are these so other green things? Who is around on Saturdays? Well, for next Carl, week, for May, I am. I could, I could <laughs> zoom I up on a Saturday and Saturday. just...
take a quick look and we could have three people there. I don't Mike's yeah, not no, saying four. anything, but yeah. What time do you usually zoom up? I can I'm any I, I could be here at eight or Is there early or early to me, I mean I'm you're up at five? You get this done before you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so eight seems to work. Do you, are you? No, I can do it after 10, but. Do it after no, 10. Before 10. She needs her beauty sleep. Yep. <laughs> well, I'm good for after 10 or eight. Uh, yeah, my only problem is, and I don't know until Thursday, <coughs> two basketball teams my son plays on, all of his games are like taunting. Randolph, Stoughton, oh, Hanson. I'm not exaggerating when I tell you this. And then just to be funny, they throw one in on no, top I'm of him. No, I'm And it's just, it's been insane. And you get two weekends of one team left and four league. weekends of another. So if I can be there, I'll be there. I don't know what his schedule is for this weekend until Thursday. It'll be just me and Kyle. Crazy. Where is the... We could do an evening thing. We could do 5.30. I know the sun's out late. 5.30. Dur during the during week. Zoom over there. Yeah. Are you home at 5.30? Yeah. yeah. Do you mean during the week? Yeah. 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 I'm, I'm at work at 4 people. o'clock. I'm there. At, that's my yeah. thing. Is I like, could do that, but I know what your day your day's going to be Tuesday next week, right? No. I'll do any day. I can, okay. I can stick around. I can't do Thursday. Except Friday. Well, this, I, could, this I can't do Thursday next week because right. that's my other conservation meeting. But if we could do it. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, whatever, you know, not Thursday. I, I generally have to find a, um, the in-laws are with the child a couple days a week, so I could scoot over there. <laughs> but I'm home by 4.35 o'clock. Monday at work, Tuesday at work, Friday. Yeah. Monday, Monday and Wednesday are better for me, but. I can, those would both work. I mean, if, if we're doing a, if we're doing a Wednesday, I'm going to take the afternoon off really. and do things around but the house, and then oh. just go back to this after the foul force. We could do a Lewis and Clark and take a canoe in. <laughs> that won't help us with the trail. Walk, walk down Lowell Street and just throw it in the water right there at the bridge. It'd work, yeah. So I'm here on Monday and Wednesday. What what's the? You can do both. She could do both. Carl's good anytime after four thirty. Yeah, uh, for Wednesday, I'd, I, I do pick her up, but I can find someone to help her have her. Well, oh, get her an Uber. <laughs> but generally, that's much easier for me, so I can make that, I'll try to make that work. It's harder for me to leave during the day once I'm home. That's only because it's your first yeah, one. I can do both those days. <laughs> 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 Wait till so. you've been three or four. Yeah, for yeah, if it's closer to 4.30 or 5.30 work. No. I mean, 4.30 would even be better because I could leave her with daycare for an extra half hour, and, you know, so. Mike, what was your time frame? Uh, wh which day are we talking about? Wednesday. Not, no, not this, not a week from today, right? That's a week from today. Yeah, Well, Wednesday. I thought a week from today was, but we're doing the town yeah, forest. Yeah, we're doing the town forest right? that same day. Okay. Oh, <laughs> is yeah. what I'm pointing out. So let's, that's uh, I'm getting. like, that's I, I, I would just take that day. whole afternoon <laughs> off if that's what we're doing, and because I'm, I'm not going to see it, like, Whatever. Um. What about Monday? How about Monday? Let's, Let's do Monday at four, four thirty. Well, whatever Monday, I can do whatever time. Whatever you pick, whatever is going to work for you. I, I think is going to. Yeah, I, I, I think four thirty would technically be easier for me because we're all in Reading, so I could keep a little longer and then just run and get her. So that would be. Better. Where do we meet at four thirty? About at Hunt. At the site. Meet at Hunt Street yeah. and then drive around Just the other side. How many cars are we? Well, I mean, there's not your, a lot of parking what, what, at Hunt Street. What's your biggest concern? Walking the trail or park, reviewing park the Just location for the bridge? Th those two places. Just seeing the trail entrance at Hunt Street yeah. and then looking at the Abajona where they're going to span across. I think the rest is pretty much typical well, trail project. My my comment only would be this: you can't. Can't. My mom can break. My time. If, sure you, if you if you park and hunt and walk all the way in, you accomplish both goals at the same time. Because if you just go in on Willow Street, all you're going to do is see where the bridge will be. You won't. Then you have to drive all the way around and walk back and so hunt. So why not just do it from one location? Yeah, half as long as it's not my calendar. Um, <laughs> right. So not if it's not, I'll forget. Do that. Yeah. Remember your experience trying to check out that land. Hunt 
uh, over on the. Uh, well, what about down. the bees? As it turned out, well, actually, my only problem was bees because I didn't have an EpiPen with me. Well, this so is. I didn't go in, but when when Aniko and I went back there, we didn't have the problem. They there is no around. trail here, so you're going to be. I mean, there's no trail be, there. No, there's no trail right. there. So uh -huh. you you you're going to have to. Bushwhack your way in. You're gonna have to be be walking through branches. Yes. Wait a minute, that's not I'll the bird's I'll go first. So what, what's the point of uh, meeting at Hunt for anything? To see the trail entrance. To see what oh, you just can. To see it the does entrance. go down a bit. I mean, oh, this is the trail. And to say and to see about you know parking's gonna come up and. I know a couple guys at the DPW. Well, we're gonna get a D8 bulldozer. We can make our way down to the river. I know. Well, then then be all set. Then. It might be a. And then the other side. Uh, you can go and look. You can go and look at. So if we met at Hunt Street and then go around the other side. Okay. Get one of those cool things that Indiana Jones has. That would make the forest cut down all the trees, and build the wood. That'd be cool. Monday at four thirty. Hunt okay. Street. Wow. Hunt. I'm sorry, I'm missing this. But 4.30, No, Monday. I got that, oh. but this trail that, that, that Carl can attend on his leisure in a weekend, is that what we're talking about on Monday? Yes. Okay. Got it. So, is that, you're going to do this on Monday? Yep. Yes, Monday. Just clarifying, because it's so many names. What going time? 4.30. <laughs> I'm going to send out an uh, email. Unless, <laughs> I can, unless my wife can take my son, he has basketball practice at 6 o'clock in Dedham. I don't know how do you get to Dedham I can tell you, this, six this, this league is a pain in the butt. And getting there at 5 o'clock in the afternoon. I don't get that. That seems impossible. You know, you know the, the, the Nobles Greeno College or I mean, like, private school? Uh, That's where his basketball practice is. Wednesday at 6 o'clock. It's at the Rivers School in Weston. I know, I know what you need. Unbelievable. And a plane? You need a helicopter. Yeah, license. totally. Well, I, I have, I have. I, like I, I just don't have a helicopter. <laughs> Straight up. All right. What else? Uh, just give you a quick Minutes. update on 113. Uh, the conservation restriction came up. I've been just administratively going back and forth with uh, Jack Sullivan and uh, the group that purchased the land, and there's, there, you know, we were. Some of the early Norris environmental calculations give us like 4.8 acres of land, and Jack is checking to see if that, with what the house needs, actually uh, exists out there. Um, because I, I, I wrote down what it said in the order of conditions. I said, well, you know, you sent me something that doesn't reflect our order of conditions because we have in there clearly what we were, what we were told we were going to get. And they said that when you add those two numbers up, it, it's beyond what land there is out there. And I'm, I'm like, well, where did I get this from? So I found the document that I got from Norris Environmental. And um, so Jack's going to look at those numbers again and come back. But we're, you know, they're finishing up over there. And we're looking for a complete certificate of uh, conservation restriction prior to that being done. What they definitely got a late start on this. So, but we're going we're gonna to hear, got to get in here, you're holding us up for, for something, and it's been, a, it's been a battle just trying to, you know, get them on, and I think they're, lately they've been calling, there's one person at the office that sends me an email maybe once a day last week, and then nothing today, but yesterday I got something. What address? It's 113, but it was called Zero Low Meadow. Oh, okay. Zero Low Meadow. So, uh, otherwise, I've reviewed the site. It's, you know, there's, there's nothing. To, there's nothing to say. It's, uh, it's exactly what we asked for. It's not dirty. It's clean. There's no trash around. I mean, inside the hay bales, you know, it's a construction site. Outside, looks like it wasn't touched. I didn't take the uh, three trees down yet that we approved, and so did uh, DEP. So it, that's what it is. It's just, there's this back and forth about how much land is, is where. So it might come to the commission finally to say we're going to, you know, change the order of conditions. Or, I'm not sure what's going to happen. If it comes from the commission, oh. 
who both get help by. I think it's a major step. I think I think it's, I, I don't yeah, disagree. I, I, mean, I think I, it had it had a lot to do. I mean, they, the abutters must be very happy with the situation. That's what I've heard. The direct abutters are happier than they thought they were going to be. Mm -hmm. Maybe not completely happy, but at least that. Um, but I think that. You know, when you're changing, one of the things that's gone is I. My recollection was there was conservation restriction land in back of the property. The new drawing shows the property going right down to the BBW, so no one could get behind it. So what does that mean? Well, then you couldn't. Why would you even walk up on that side? So on the notice of in, on the plans and the notice of intent that we approved were lines drawn of where the restriction would be. And are those lines different now? No, we never got a plan of what the conservation restriction was okay, going to be. Okay, we just got an acreage. We just got an acreage, yeah. Okay. So like 177,000 square feet, 50,000, I don't know, 177,000 square feet is what we were asked, what, what they were offering. That's 4.8 acres. Mm -hmm. And it ended up being 3. 3.89. But, you know, to back out of it, I mean, you know, I know, I'm, I, I, I know what you guys are saying. I mean, it's like, what, what are we talking about? To, to back out of this thing correctly, it takes an amended order of conditions. No, I, and I, if they want to do that, I think that's as much time as, like, because you just can't just go, yeah, hey, you know, minor plan change. That's I, I not don't a disagree. minor plan change. I, I don't disagree. I, I think that's a big change. It's a big deviation, and um, I would like to know fully with them at a meeting why it's different. Yeah, so that's Jack Sullivan and uh, the people over there doing the work, but Jack Sullivan's the engineer. Okay. Um, we'll let Conservation Land, that's I'll just, um, I, I told you guys this already before the meeting, but I, I did end up sticking around the the uh, selectman meeting last night because it went so our piece went so quickly uh, to see they were deciding new liaisons and so the concert uh, the concoms <coughs> liaisons are Ann Landry and John Halsey. Um, oh, we have two. We have two. They said it's always been two. But okay. And what what um, did they kind of talk about? How the commission can use the liaison, or is it, what's the? They had thirty-eight groups that they had to decide between, mm -hmm. so they did not talk specifically about yeah. uh, one single group. I know John Halsey them. was our uh, liaison back when this one thirteen Arcadia came up, Zero Low Meadow, and he was very active with the uh, the abutters, and I think uh, it worked out really well uh, with John. He was approachable. And always available to, you know, to go to go out there. I saw him many, many times on many, uh, you know, many permits that we had. So that's that's going to be very familiar. Um, yeah, I was just wondering if they said, you know, this is exactly what a liaison does. I think from Andy Friedman, we, uh, I guess, we learned a, a little bit. He just wanted to make sure that. What we want the selectmen to know, the liaison would bring it to them. So, <laughs> except for Bob, <laughs> except for Bob. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, I guess uh, it's a way to uh, just you know keep in touch with projects and all that. Is the selectmen? Yeah, the liaison, liaison is on the floor, right? Yeah. He's having the entire board show up. Yep. Okay. Uh, what else? Minutes? Minutes? Any comments? Any comments? I think one of them was for the last meeting I wasn't there, so I didn't. Yeah. We have a motion? Move we approve the minutes for April 
April 22, 2019. Second. All those in favor? Great. <laughs> okay. Anything else? Uh, so, uh, no, there's a, I was going to, there's a staffing, we got a staffing update um, this week. And uh, so Julie Mencier's position and um, so there's a planning, uh, two planning spots, a long-term planner and a staff type planner. And there's, they're keeping both those. And we're gonna get an admin person uh, that's gonna work uh, part-time and an admin person for the uh, senior center. Planning positions are open, you mean? Or they're they're they're, at, they're, review, they're interviewing people. I think they're in the final throes of this interview process. Is and it the, just said, stay tuned. So I'm sure it's... Is that know, for the economic development? Yep. Yeah. Uh, Bob said last night... I feel like they have such a... They may have... I think that he's offer. such a cool job. I don't may. What, economic planning? development. Well, uh, yeah. Yeah. Because my, yeah. Landscape architect and regional planning. And I always thought it'd be kind of cool to be a town planner. Yeah. Maybe there's still time to interview. You gotta Check really, you gotta really hit the hit the lottery with that. Um, <laughs> you missed, man. Uh, yeah. I was a harbor planner. <laughs> really? Can I ask a silly Sad question? Sure. I feel like I have this idea. They put this bridge here because mm -hmm. this I feel like I have this idea of what to be it's that position. I have no uh, idea. Depends on the politics right. of every town. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't matter to me where they put it. I just didn't know if that was not feasible for something. They're trying to mainly what? stay near stay that, right that yeah. easement because it helps to have a trail next to the easement. Then the DPW can monitor uh, that easement and whatnot. So yeah. This being the easement? Yeah. In yeah. Dubois. No, I'm picking up Anika. I oh, think okay. the sewer easement. Yeah. Sewerage? Yeah. Okay. Be a pipe buried down there somewhere. Where yeah. I gotta Google it, but where? Uh, where? where? Oh, well, that's a sewer, James. Yeah. This trail must be from it's big over. Well, obviously, here. it's not on the easement well, because the easement's not gonna be clear. It's, it's between the right. tracks. So oh, there shouldn't be any trees. In it's pretty close to the east. tracks. But that's not not, not the case. Uh, so. <laughs> just so many years, it's just. Get on Mineral Street and take a left. I don't have the manpower to deal. Do you get to left to Hunt Street? Yeah. Yeah. I think you have a hundred different, different ways to get to Hunter Street. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's how I go. Yeah. Yeah, so it's, it is. It's between the tracks and the Just go to Middle right. Street and take a left before you go over the bridge. I think I'm going to get one. Yeah. Somewhere else. Yep. Matter of fact, there's a kid who used to live on Hunt Street yeah. who his house abutted the tracks there. And I think it was his either father or older brother doing something down there on the tracks and got hit by a train and lost his arm. Oh, One okay. of the first people to reattach, have their arm reattached. I don't know how successful it was, but it was, I think it was his father. Jeez. Oh, his father was not a uh, well person when he got hit by the train. But. Yikes. Another Reading first. Yeah, you know, it's. June 15th. Again, more info that I got from being at the Board of Selectmen meeting is the... Friends and family? Yeah. Day. I did talk about that last... Uh, um, I know I'm going to be away that, that weekend, but just because I heard about it, I figured I'd, I'd bring it up that it's out there. I don't know. We is usually there get any interest in attending uh, Friends and Family Day? Is it the Saturday, it sounds like? It is think, Saturday. I think... For a couple reasons, I, I'm going to end up being there. I'm not. I'm not sure, but uh, we need to do a survey for the open space plan, which is going to be up this um, March. It's upcoming. Well, 2020, January, February, March, and it would. It's, you know, there's a lot of public input when you update your open space plan, so that would be a great opportunity to advertise. Well, to get some feedback. Yeah. So, um, and we'll qualify for, you know, one of the several things that we have to do. So, 
Uh, I'm going to be there. And I know Becky's going to be there because she just tells me how much she likes that turtle. <laughs> no. So the turtle hasn't been there. I've been on this. Oh, the turtle God. hasn't been there since I've been on this commission. Uh, we always talk about this turtle, this infamous turtle. <laughs> it's Will Finch's yeah. Kim Hanish lockers. They're always sitting. They're always next to us, or mm-hmm. usually they're usually next to us. We got a pet box turtle or something. The trails committee. Mm-hmm. He does. It's, it's the same turtle. They, I don't they know. They live for that long. It's, it's, a, like a, it's a big running joke oh. at my house because we I actually have a pet tortoise. Oh, <laughs> oh you do? Everybody always. My when my Nora used to watch, she'd be like, "Did you ever tell them you have a tortoise?" Like, you know, all all there is is about this discussion about this tortoise. We should bring ours. Wow. <laughs> but I know you don't want that there. <laughs> oh, go, as long as it doesn't go nuts. And the thing was like <laughs> having a, a mental, like. <laughs> Oh, it was awful. Uh, Oh. So vision of the ones you ride in, like, you know. No, no. So they grow (laughs) with their environment. So if you get them a bigger tank, they get bigger. Right. And and then you get them a bigger tank, and they get bigger. And then people let them walk around the house, and they get bigger. So you can't can't ride. However. (laughs) It's only just the tortoise. Just the tortoise. Just Ed the tortoise. Right. So now I'm kind of curious. Did you I've had get Ed married before this tortoise? I've or had. Did you brought that along with the. With, we, it was a we got package it. deal. We got it together. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what's the life? Oh. I've had I've had Ed for for 12 years. Ed. Yeah, what, what's Ed. 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 Yep. And uh, they, they, they can live to be over 50. Yeah. So so the, my children could be inheriting. Yes. Them. But that's kind of like... They don't live that long, though, do they? Wait, but, 20, but, 25, 30 years. Uh, the, it all, I've heard various things. Well, it depends heard, on their environment. I've heard more than 50. What's, how did you get it? More than 50, well. I'm, I'm just thinking, and if you buy it today, you, you know, you can walk home with this tortoise. <laughs> you know? Just, just tell me. Yeah. <laughs> this is just... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> talk Story for another mom. day. Are you listening yeah. to us right yeah. now? Okay. No, yeah. <laughs> do I hear well, so, a motion to uh, close the meeting? Sure. Before we know about the tortoise, I, fine. The I have way more questions. Than yeah. I'll second. To be continued. Oh, All in favor? That's going to drive up our numbers. We're going to get like 17. Yeah, let's keep talking about the tortoise.